Good morning and welcome. My name is Doris. He can't. Even if he tries to, he's not going to be able to. Before we get into the word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name. I thank you for this opportunity to share your word. And I pray that this word is going to be a blessing and encouragement and a revelation. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it. And I pray that whoever is going to hear this word, Lord, they shall hear that which you are saying. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You see, there are people that the devil is so afraid of. There are people that the devil is so terrified of attacking them. Even his agents, even his demons cannot come anywhere near them. First Peter chapter 5 and verses 8, it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking who he may devour. It is not everybody that the devil devil can devour. It is not just anybody that the devil can devour. He doesn't have access to just anybody. The devil may have been seeking to devour you for a long time, but glory be to God. He cannot do it. Even if he tries to, it's not going to be able to. It's not going to be... You see, it doesn't matter what he tries to throw at you. He's not going to be able to. In fact, even if he tries, it's going to be for his own destruction. David said in Psalms 124, If it had not been the Lord who was on my side when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive when their wrath was kindled against us. <clears throat> verse 6 blessed be the lord who has not given us a spray to their teeth the lord is on your side and this terrifies the enemy he cannot attack you <clears throat> he cannot even come anywhere near you it doesn't matter how threatening they may appear it doesn't matter how mighty they look how big they are in numbers they are afraid of you they are afraid of your god you are the apple of god's eye and the devil knows it you are not among those that he can devour even if he tries to touch you it's going to be for his destruction. Job 1 and 10 says, Have you not put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? There is a hedge of protection that is around you. What the enemy, <clears throat> what the enemy has been doing is just to circle around and because you have been seeing him circling around you have felt threatened you thought that he was gonna attack you there is no reason for you to be bothered by by what the enemy is doing all that they can do is try to intimidate you with their presence is try to scare you but there is nothing that they can do to you you see the enemy wants to instill fear in you Verses 2, it reads, verses 12, Only do not lay a hand on his person. The devil cannot lay his hands on you. He can carry on all silly that he wants and create all the drama that he wants to make you think like he is so powerful, but there is nothing that he can do to you even if he tries to. When God puts a hedge of protection around you, the devil is terrified of you. The devil is afraid of you. He cannot have access to you because if he tries, it is illegal and he's going to be smitten immediately. He's going to be destroyed immediately. Psalms 34 verses 7, it says, There are angels all around you to deliver you from the snare of the fowler you are fortified daniel was thrown into the lion's den but the lion's mouth was shut and they couldn't do anything to him even though they were hungry 
there was nothing they could do to Daniel because the Lord had a protection around him. Saul wanted to kill David so many times. But even though he tried, he was not able to because there was a protection around David. God never gave him access into the life of David. Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, they were thrown into the fiery furnace and the fire couldn't touch them. But their handlers, the ones who threw them into the fire, they were consumed immediately by the fire because the handlers had no protection. But the boys, God was protecting them. Satan asked for Simon so that he can sift him as wheat. But Jesus prayed for him, it says in scripture, that his faith will not fail. Listen, many of you, the devil had asked for you. He desired to sift you as wheat, but he was not able to. He couldn't do it. Why? Because we have a great intercessor. Jesus is interceding for us. Our faith is not going to fail us in times of adversity. Because there is an intercessor that is watching over us, that is interceding for us. When the angel of death was sweeping across Egypt, destroying all the firstborns, it could not do anything to the children of Israel. Their door was marked with the blood of the lamb. There is always a mark on you. It may not be visible to you, but in the spirit, in the spiritual realm, the enemy is able to see the mark of God on you, is able to see the seal of the Holy Spirit that is upon you. We are covered by the blood of Jesus and anything that the devil intends for your destruction will have to pass over. When Pharaoh ordered for the annihilation of all babies in Egypt, Moses was preserved. He could not be killed. And as if that was not enough, the joke was on him. He had to raise Moses in his own palace. He knew who Moses was. He knew that Moses was one of the Hebrew children. And yet he couldn't touch him. He could not destroy him. Sometimes the way God does things, I just love the way God deals with our enemies. He is going to put you right in front of them. It's as if he's daring them. You know, just touch him, touch him and you're going to see fire is going to rain on you. I love it. Herod did the same when he learned of the birth of Jesus. He ordered the annihilation of all the babies below two years. But try as he may, Jesus was untouchable by his schemes. Jesus was untouchable by his plots. There was nothing that the pit could do to Joseph. It had to let him go. There was nothing that the prison could do to Joseph. It had to release him. But when it came to the palace, the palace had a different story to tell. When it came to the palace, it was a different story. It was a complete game changer. The palace could not reject Joseph because his destiny was right there. Paul and Silas were thrown into prison, but the prison had to release them. There wasn't anything else it could do to them. It could not hold them there. It could not keep them there. The day of your lifting is coming. And that is why the enemy cannot do anything to you. There is a wall of fire of protection that is around you. And it may not be visible to you, but it is visible to your enemies. And it is for your good to stay clear away. It is in the best interest of your enemies to stay away from you. It is in the best interest of the enemy to stay clear away from you. 
because the Lord is protecting you. There is nothing he can do to you. He has been trying. He has tried so many times, but he has not been able to because the Lord is protecting you and God always protects his own. May the Lord bless you so much. I love you. But the Lord loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. Know that you are highly appreciated. I appreciate you all so, so much for liking my videos, for sharing my videos. You are helping me to advance the kingdom of God. Thank you for your giving, for standing with me in ministry. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your emails. God bless you so much. Always know that I am praying for you and I am standing with you in prayer even as you are praying for me. Blessings and shalom.